for being here. This is the third live show by Throwing Stones. I'm Rusty James, I'm the owner of Throwing Stones. We've been in business for 20 years and we've traveled all over the world to source and sell rocks, stones, and minerals. And we have a great show lined up for you tonight. A lot of new items that have come in, or stuff that we've had that we've just started processing. Thank you, Casey, I appreciate you. I like to start my show out with a little music, set the mood for myself, for you guys, and just start the vibe off right. So uh, maybe I'll play a little longer in the future, uh, or maybe not, we'll see. We are limited to four hours, uh, according to Instagram. I know we can always uh, do an extra hour that they let us have, but we usually get pretty tired, so four hours is a good dis good duration. So thank you for joining us. I uh, hope you saw our preview of what we're showing tonight. We have a lot of trending items that we're going to be showing and a lot of our classic staples like Sujalite. And we have a good show, a good, lined up, good show lined up for you tonight. Um, let's see, I think, go ahead and flip the camera and get started. I don't have too much else to say. Um, well, we did, we opened a, uh, an Indian parcel. Uh, we have a, a, an importation from India that came in this week that we were very busy organizing and opening. Uh, a lot of our uh, material that we sell on Etsy for restocks and whatnot. So if you haven't gone to our Etsy shop, we encourage you to do that. Uh, we are a top 100 Etsy shop. Uh, we are ranked number seven in our category in the world and about 86th in all categories in the, in the country right now. Uh, 227,000 sales and 55,000 feedback in a short time of just over five years. So if you haven't checked out our Etsy, Etsy shop, we have a lot to offer there. And a lot of the stuff that we offer in our live shows is not available in the Etsy shops. Uh, some of it is, and some of it we save for the live shows. A good portion of the inventory that we manufacture and that we manifest and we bring in, uh, we've not gotten available yet. Uh, we have a lot of resources, but I like to keep a lot of surprises. Uh, it's the nature of being Scorpio. <laughs> so, without further ado, I'm going to turn you guys around here and going to get right into it. If I didn't already say it, I thank you for being here. And let's see, what's the first thing? Um, I think tonight we're going to start with Petersite. So Petersite has a pretty special place in Throne Stones. Uh, we started our business when we were studying yoga in Rishikesh in India in 2001. And we fell in love with rocks when we were studying yoga. We didn't really know much about them. And we decided to get into the selling aspect of it. And we brought home some jewelry. And we shortly thereafter, to make a long story short, we started looking into and selling stones and minerals shortly after that and uh, the first major supplier that we went to see we were living in florida at the time and the first major supplier that we had uh, we went and he had a bunch of beads and he had some other stuff and he had some peter site and i'd never seen it before and peter site absolutely pushed us over the edge and we fell in love with peter site and decided that we were going to sell stones after we got our first pieces of peter site I don't really know why Peter site, but that's the one that just like captivated me. Like, whoa, I didn't know stones could do that. Like, what's going on here? Stones are really crazy. Stones do all kinds of cool things and they're just conglomerates. And, you know, I didn't re know anything about Peter site. I was just like, wow, that's really cool. That's super neat. Look at that. Uh, you know, so Peter site is chatoyant in nature. And what that means is that it has this shimmer. It's like tiger's eye. It basically is the same thing as tiger's eye, but it's got a lot more going on. Hey, Bill, how's it going? Appreciate you being here. Uh, so, petersite is a pseudomorph of an asbestos mineral that has been pseudomorphed into quartz. And so the fibers remain and the quartz comes up and over and around the fibers. And the fibers are what gives it this, 
what we call chatoyants. This stuff right here, that's just the dance. And I'm sure you all know about Tiger's Eye, and this is very similar, except it's got, it's like Tiger's Eye on steroids. So we're gonna start with some Petersite. Um, this piece is a really cool piece. It's got this nice patterning going on, some chatoyants here. Uh, what you're looking for in Petersite is to have multiple colors and then segmented areas of uh, chatoyance. It's different from Tiger's Eye, which is usually like an entire face, and it usually like does the chatoyance in one place or another. And uh, Peter Sight can have like all kinds of sections where it segments itself, and that's a really cool aspect of Peter Sight. So multiple colors, chatoyant in different areas and whatnot, and that's all good reasons to look, or good things to look for in Peter Sight. So without further ado, the first Peter site that we're going to offer today is this one. This is 585 at $75. I'm going to put this here. And I'll show you this one. The next piece of Peter site is this piece here. And certified painite. Cool. Painite is painful. <laughs> Just kidding. It's painfully expensive, <laughs> or it can be, used to be. I don't know if it still is. Anyway, this is really a cool piece of Peter Sight. Uh, it's got yellow and blue and sort of reddish orange here, and that's really neat. We've got some stuff off to the side, and you know, a lot of times you gotta look on the back sides of Peter Sight always, because one side could be totally different from the other side. And so that one, it's really neat. It's called the Tempest Stone, which kind of means that it's stormy. It kind of looks like it's stormy in a lot of ways. And this one is 585 is the skew, $50. Nice. 12 year old getting into pay night. Lucky you, man. <laughs> Next piece of Peter Sight, this is red. This is a little bit less common to have red. Uh, sometimes the red ones are all red. This one has yellow and the blue on the side there, just a little bit in the corner. And predominantly red. And that is a really neat looking piece. And this one is SKU 586, $38. And don't worry, I will be recapping and going over everything again so you guys can make your decisions. Don't feel rushed, we've got plenty of time. The next piece of Peter Sight. This one is a little bit different. It's got more of a jaspery kind of feel where it's these big blocky sections. In between these sections, we have some chatoyants in here. Uh, there's a little chatoyants in here. And a little bit more blocky jasper on the back side. A little bit of blue in here. Super cool Peter, of Peter Sight. A uh, really unique one. It's a good sized piece. Uh, lots of different colors. Let me bring it a little closer. You can see all the different colors going on. And this one is 25 grams, $60. I guess I should stop and put my little note here. One second, you guys. To claim, type the skew and the word claim. Um, if you get shadow band comments, Use words instead of numbers. All right, cool. I'm gonna pin that. All right. Hey Sam, how's it going? You never got back to me. I really hope that you found that piece or those two pieces. Um, do let me know. I'm really kind of concerned about that. Um, that's kind of a a doozy on our end, but just let me know. And we'll we'll sort you out one way or another, man. I'm not not too worried about it, so don't don't fret it. Uh, all right, so the next piece of Peter Sight. This one is super super cool. It's got the segmented areas like I had mentioned, 
and it's got some black and blue and red and a little bit of orange and that is got a lot going on all of my peter site is hand selected i have quite a bit of this material uh, that we just had we got in last year and we had a bunch of it finished tumbling and everything that i'm showing you is the cream of the parcel um, i got a lot of material that kind of looks like this that we have to figure out a way to make it look better uh, peter side is all, a lot of times it's very pitted um, so we're bringing you the best of what we've got and we do have more so and we also have a lot listed on our etsy shop but tonight we're having some special deals so if you like anything that you see go ahead and claim this piece is skew 588 and it is 35 dollars next up we have this is a crazy piece like super crazy i don't even know how to describe it it's almost like fire coming out of a dragon's mouth you can just imagine like a dragon like blowing fire and like let me zoom in here super crazy i love this piece so much chateau ants all over the place it's got two or three colors in there back side or the top it's kind of triangular it's just got fire all over it a little bit of patterning on the side it's just fantastic and that piece is 579 is the skew 42 dollars thanks for joining us for any of you that just arrived next piece this is another one Super, super high grade, really cool. You got the yellow, you got orange, red, blue, black, a little bit of white. This is really what you're looking for in a piece of Peter's type. It's all the different colors, the segmented areas where the chatoyance takes place. Lots of different chatoyants here. I love how it goes in different directions. Like this side, this part will go in one direction, this part will go in another direction. That doesn't happen very often with tiger's eye, which is what makes Peter's sight stand out, is that it didn't just grow uniformly in one direction, it just grew all over the place. It's kind of like, yeah, it's like, it's like a fire. This is really neat here. So this one is 580. $46. And somebody's going to get it started here in a minute. Who's it going to be? Next piece. Very tempestuous piece. That's a big word. <laughs> it's got a lot of what you're looking for. It's uh, got the different segmented areas. It's got lots of flowing swirly lines a little bit of chatoyance in here a little bit of quartz section in here that's always kind of cool and like the swirls of fire going on in here it's almost like some kind of bird face right here like two eyes and a beak kind of deal i don't know if you can see that uh, it's kind of cool yeah so that's that one's got a little bit of quartz there too that one, it's $5.81 and it is $30. And the next one, it's a little bit more like your classic tiger's eye where everything is kind of going in one direction. It's got a little bit more stuff in here and a little bit of blue in there on the other side. like one big fire that's a thin piece and that one is 582 32 dollars 
this is petersite. What we're showing is petersite. It's a pseudomorph of rebekite into quartz and other asbestos minerals that have shifted into the silica department. Uh, this one is really cool and really special because of the segments. Uh, you can see how it's just like blocks, like here. And it's got some nice chatoyant pattern down here. It's blue up in here and orange up in here. I love how the black gives it some dimension and segments. Like it's just really neat how it has the contrast. And this is almost like when you're flying overhead in an airplane and you can see all the plots of land and it doesn't really have any pattern to it. In some parts, you know, in other parts where you got big farms, it's like more uniform. This is kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of like looking at a overhead map. And so the other side, it's got some really neat segments here. And of course we got some there. A little bit on the side. And that's a pretty cool piece. Really different. All the pieces that I picked out for you tonight are very different from each other. This one is $583 and it is $60. Cool, Sam. We'll figure it out. Sorry you had a, a scare today with that. That's not cool, but we will sort you out. Yeah, Peter said always does look like a painting. Uh, actual Trashly. <laughs> I like your name. Uh, it's a lot like Tiffany Stone, but in a different way. It's kind of like throwing paint on a wall and it like splatters. So here's a really neat piece. And of course there's some chatoyants in there. We got some yellows and some orange and some blue. It's a nice thick piece. A little pitted on the back, but still beautiful. There's little chatoyants on the side. That's just a phenomenal piece. That's that looks like a painting. Some kind of surrealist painting. I'm not a painter, so. But I can appreciate paintings. I can appreciate rocks and I really like cool rocks that have cool patterns in them. This one is 574 is the skew, it's 120. That's a much bigger piece than most of the other ones in terms of thickness and, and square footage. Yeah, that one is kind of like the scream. And this one. I don't know why I'm so drawn to this type. I think it's because this this other color in here, uh, it's kind of, I don't really know why. I wouldn't call it purple per se, but it's, I don't know why I'm drawn to this color. I've, every time I see this type, it's just, I don't know, it sticks out to me where it's got these uh, this other like reddish color in between the lines. Uh, a little bit of chatoyance in there. Oh, there's a heart. Can't go wrong there. There's a blue heart. That one is fifty-five dollars. Skew five seventy-five. All right. Well, y'all liking the Peter site? Show another one. Might have to switch it up here if y'all don't uh, step up to the plate here and say, hey, I gotta have one of those. This is amazing. I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> no, it's all good. We can appreciate them all night. I love Peter's Sight. This is a stone that really pushed us over the edge and we decided we were gonna sell, sell stones full time. When I got my first piece of Peter's Sight, we were just in love and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. This is, uh, this is real? Like, how is this even real? And, uh, hey, Jackie, how's it going? Uh, we started our business in the basement of my parents' house in Rockville, Maryland. So I was like, oh, yeah, we're selling rocks now. Ha ha, we're in the basement of Rockville. That's kind of funny. My dad thought I was totally crazy. He's like, you're going to do what? Why don't you go to law school? I was like, yeah, we're going to try these rocks, man. We're going to sell some rocks. <laughs> and he was like, you're crazy. That's not going to work. And so we started selling online, and I put 
my first piece of my first rock that I put online went to eBay in 2001 in June and it sold in like 45 minutes and I ran upstairs and was like look dad I sold my first rock I just put it up and he's like rah, rah, you just got lost school there's rocks and fuckers all that shit rah, stupid rocks rah. And you know we kept doing it, and then I and then I got a parcel of papagoite, and I ran upstairs one day. I was like, "Dad, I sold a rock for seventeen hundred dollars," and he's like, "What? Oh my god, maybe you could do that. That's pretty cool." I was like, "Yeah." Peter Sight got us started. <laughs> I bet you fell in love making cabs. I uh, I hope you make me some good cabs. <laughs> you guys have been making me some good cabs. I I like that. I'm really glad that you guys are doing lapidary now. That's a really, really fun way to um, get involved with the rocks on a different level. Hey, Real Rock Dealer. What's up, man? I sent you a message earlier. Um, yeah. So there's another piece. I, I'm, I've been showing that one a long time. I'm just going off on story. So this one is 40 bucks. 576 All right, and the next one, this one is like green-ish. It's like, like an olive green color, which is really weird. Yeah, yeah, man, I sent you a message. Just uh, sending you a reminder about last, last week's show. Got a rock for you. Want to get it sent? If you see anything tonight, we can still add it. But otherwise, let me know, and we'll get that rock out to you. So yeah, this one's kind of green, and it's got the segments here, super cool. It's a nice thicker piece, a little bit of blue. And that one is $577, $70. So I'm sure you guys are aware that Instagram does some uh, shadow banning of comments. So if for some reason you make a comment for a claim and I don't speak it, make it again without numbers, or say, hey, I, make a, I made a claim, did you see it? And we will try to accommodate you. We've got a couple different accounts open at once, and sometimes they show up on the other accounts and not on mine. So we're doing our best to make sure that we catch you guys when you're claiming. And this piece is like, one of my favorites of the group. I'm not really sure why. Again, it's like dragon's fire breath. It's just crazy. It's really thick. It's chatoyant all over. It's just, it's just crazy. It feels like, I mean, that's even looks like a, like a dragon. This is like straight up out of like Harry Potter or something like this is the flames and there's just like dragon flying up in the sky or something. Super crazy. Look at this, look at this like, this is amazing. Super good Peter site. Is not very easy to get anymore. Uh, I've got some people that are mining it for me. And what they've been finding over the past many years is um, really fiber stuff with not a lot of silica. And that's difficult. It's not as good as the silicated stuff because it doesn't cut as well. So this is a hundred bucks, 578. And I've got some more to show, but my little paper here is full, and you guys didn't buy any yet. So I am going to move this over and show you the next rocks. Well, before I do that, I should probably do my recap like I usually do. So really quickly, this is 585. This one is 586. This one, 588, it's 35 bucks. I got my numbers a little out of order, but that's okay. 580, this one's 46, it's nice and thick. 
This one is five seventy six. It's forty bucks. This one five eighty four. Fifty bucks. Five eighty seven. That's the blocky one. Sixty. Five seventy nine. It's like the fire dragon. Forty two bucks. Five eighty one. It's thirty bucks. Five seventy seven. Five eighty three. Five seventy four. Five seventy five. All right, no takers. Must not be stormy tonight. All right, next up, we are going to show some star related cabs. This, I'm not going to start with that one. Let's start with this one. This is a really cool phenomenon where you've got roots heel that grows in a star pattern coming off of hematite in the center. This is called a uh, trapeche like because of the six spokes. Uh, maybe technically not a trapeche, but anything that has these six spokes like this can fall into the trapeche category. And this is a nice one for making a piece of jewelry. Uh, these little stars are really great. They don't always come in stars. It's nice when they isolate them and utilize them for jewelry and whatnot. So this piece is $5.59 and eighty five dollars and these stars can very easily get to be several thousand dollars um, i don't have any of those to show you tonight but i have had quite a number of them over the years that were in thousand fifteen hundred two thousand dollars i even had one that i sold for sixty five hundred that was just it was literally this like as big as my hand it was a crazy one i sold that to a a friend of mine who owns a gallery in Aspen. Better than TV. <laughs> Better than TV, yeah. So here's another one. This is trapeche like. It's got the six spokes coming off a of hematite. Of course, it sparkles and reflects light. And very good for making jewelry. About the size of my one finger. This one is 100. This is a oval, an oval shape. Also reflects light, has the six spokes. Six spokes, folks. Good size. Nice, nice and clear. It's got pretty good quartz there. And that one is 561. It's 100 bucks. And probably a good time to let y'all know that we can take afterpay on any order under a thousand dollars. Afterpay is a service that lets you pay over time. 
and we get paid all at once so we ship you your stones right away and you get to enjoy them and you work out the details with them i think it's four payments over uh, i want to say 60 days maybe it's little, maybe it's longer i don't actually remember but um it's a really good option if you're feeling like you really want something and it's a little bit out of your budget this week uh we can set you up and you can purchase with Afterpay, or we have another service called Affirm, both of which run through our Shopify store. So this is a bigger piece. This is like two fingers. It's just over, over an inch. And it's got the nice star. There's kind of a second one behind it. Good size. And this one is 175. Next up, teardrop, nice and clear, good shape, good form, good spray, good star, nothing wrong with this one, nothing wrong with any of them, they're all beautiful, but different shape for a different application, and this one is 150. Got four more of these, and hopefully y'all like something. This is like a double star. You can see two little rutiles in there, or sorry, the two hematite areas. A little bit of star coming off of that, and then it's got, um, I guess that would be considered maybe low to light. Not really sure, but... It's a super cool piece. It's nice and uniform, really clear. And this one, $557, $85. And again, if you do make a claim and I don't speak it, then it has been shadow banned. And please say, hey, did you get my claim? And we will sort you out. There's a double. It's kind of one in front of the other. Teardrop. I always tend to do teardrops this way, but they go either way. It's a personal preference. Super neat. Backside's also super neat. I could even go either way. It's flat, so either side can be the front. Fifty-six. It's a hundred dollars. And if you're not familiar with this material, um, I should let you know that it's not really extremely common to get these uh, isolated like this, and they're usually really expensive. And I haven't really marked them up very much because I wanted to try to make them affordable. Um, so it's a pretty good opportunity to get one that's not 300, 500, 800,000 because they can get really expensive really quickly. And they do hold their value. There's not a crazy amount of them available. A lot of them get absorbed in the markets in China. They really love them. And this one's a nice double as well. It's just beautiful. And this is sort of a free form I guess teardrop sort of leaning to the side maybe and the back side of that one's super cool too it's almost like it's sitting on matrix here and this one is five 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 one one zero all right Last one. This one is much bigger than the other ones. It's two fingers. It's got a group of stars. There's a couple in here. Another one up 
pair. Nice clear quartz. Um, Don, I don't have any set as pendants. Um, we don't have in-house lapidary. Um, so no, I don't think that we can help you set that. I can probably get it wire wrapped. I did have somebody that uh, asked me if I wanted him to make him pendants for me. So I'm sure there are plenty of people. I know there's hundreds and hundreds of wire wrappers in America and tons of them are online. So if a wire wrap could be done, I'm sure there's also people who would be happy to set them for you. Uh, these I didn't get set. I could have probably had them set before they got shipped, but uh, there's applications for both. Some people like to do the work themselves, and some people like to wear it. So if I get another batch, I'll have them set before they come over. So this one this is the last one that I have to show today. That's 554, 150. do my quick recap this one is five five nine eighty five this one five six two is one seventy five five fifty six it's like a guitar pick yeah totally I think I subliminally saw your comment when you said that, and then I said the same thing. It's probably because you said it. That one's 100. That one is another one that's kind of like a guitar pick. This one. This is the double. Greetings, Miss Jersey. I like that double. Yeah, that double's really cool. I think that one might be my favorite one. I do really like the guitar pick too, though. And this one's actually kind of neat. Awesome, glad you got your ring. Glad you like it. do it for the recap if you want me to go back again just let me know and I will do that get them all messed up here okay next I'm gonna do Super 7 pendants. These are set. Obviously. They're pendants. So all of these are from Karur, South India. It's a famous amethyst deposit. Uh, it hasn't produced a lot of really good amethyst in the last few years. But it's one of the most incredible amethyst deposits for a number of reasons. There are a lot of really good amethyst deposits all over the world. Uh, this one is very unique for the flower-shaped specimens that it has and for also having crazy scepters and also really interesting inclusions all around. So this is a Super 7. It's got the he red hematite or rutile specks. I think that one's a little bit of both. That one is set in sterling silver and that is $40. don't have a lot of these um, tonight. I only prepared a few. And this one is really, really cool. This has got 
red hematite needles running all through it. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a show at some point in the future where I'm not selling anything and I'm just doing educational stuff, mm -hmm. talking about Super 7 and minerals and stuff like that and showing off some of our collection. Um, that would be really a neat show. Um, we've been collecting for 20 years and we have some unbelievable things that a lot of them nobody's ever seen. Uh, so this is amethyst with red hematite needles. Uh, nice faceted sparkly. Uh, you can see the facets on the back. Yeah, I really want to show. I almost went live last night and did a flash show just to show some of our collection pieces. I was like geeking out at some of our stuff that I hadn't seen in a while. And I was just like, oh man, this stuff has to be seen. Uh, we have, you know, I mean, like a lot of people that got into this business to sell, the reason that we got into it to sell was to afford the habit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's like, oh, I want to keep that. So if I'm going to keep it and that's like the most expensive one on the table, I have to buy the whole table in order to <laughs> keep it or a part of the table or whatever. So this is a really good size pendant. It's like a finger and a half. It's about an inch, or maybe three quarters of an inch. And it's 150. So, yeah, one of these days... I'll show off some collection stuff. It would probably take me, I don't know, 40 or 50 shows to show off the collection. There's too many stones. We kind of keep too many of the good ones, but we have lots of good ones to offer as well. Can't keep them all. That's the, uh, the benefit of being a source dragon is that there are more that show up than I can afford to keep. So we have a lot of high-grade things to offer because we can't keep them all, but we like to buy them all, and buying is half the fun. Um, as I'm sure you guys know, buying is half the fun. So, hint, hint. <laughs> this one is some uh, a, sort of a whiter quartz, a little tiny bit of amethyst, and some red needles in there. Super 7. This one is $75. All in sterling silver. All made in India. Stones were mined in India a bunch of years ago. Alright, here's the next one. It's a little bigger. It's got a lot of needles in there. And the needles are what people are now referring to as Super 7. I don't necessarily agree. It's kind of a trade name. It's probably should just be, hey, this is quartz or amethyst with red needles, uh, hematite. Some people say it's lipidocrosite. Technically, it's all hematite. Um, but, you know, lipidocrosite is a cool name to differentiate from the hematites. But they are all in the hematite category. Uh, I had a conversation with John White, who was the curator of the Smithsonian, uh, standing in a friend's booth in Tucson in like 2000 and I want to say 7, 2008. And we were talking about this. They had just done a bunch of research on all of these minerals in amethyst that everybody was calling gertite and hematite, lipidocrosite, cacoxonite. And he was saying that almost all of them tested out to actually be hematite, just different forms and variations. And, uh, you know, there is goatite in quartz and there is cacoxonite in quartz. Um, but a lot of it is hematite. Lipidocrosite is probably technically not correct, but you know. It's fun to say. It's fun. It's a great word. Lipidocrosite. <laughs> lipidocrosite. Please, the bite of my lipidocrosite. <laughs> yeah. This one is uh, 566, 120. And I'm starting to get it to the point where I have to turn on my accent because uh, you guys need to entertain me a little bit more, okay? 
If you are not careful, I will turn on all the different accents. This one is from India. I will tell you this is a very good stone. It has a very good amethyst here and some very, very nice hematite. Uh, this is a very spiritual stone. It is a set in sterling silver and it is made uh, for Jay Ganesha himself. And it is very much, very much wanting to go home with you. Uh, if you buy this stone, I will send you one chapati. And if you are lucky, you can have some dal. Okay. Before somebody says that I'm being offensive, I will come back to my normal, regularly scheduled program. <laughs> this one is $85. That is Super 7, number 567. Okay, last one. This is a square, I mean a rectangle. This 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 hair this hair's a rectangle. It's got them red needles in there. And a little bit of amethyst in there back here, you know, boom how you can't can't really tell it. I mean it's got them very back there you know, you know, amethyst, you know, with red little Peter Crooks out in there. So you know, this one it's real pretty. It shines the light back real good. And you know, it's good. It, it, your wife would be real happy if you bought this one for her. She'd be super happy. You know, I'd be real happy too. <laughs> this one here, five sixty-eight, ninety dollars. Going once, going twice. <laughs> All right, I'm entertaining myself now. Okay, that's all the Super 7s that I have. Um, I do have this one super, super special, crazy included quartz that most people don't understand or don't know why it's special, so I'm going to explain it. Okay, we'll reshow the 151. I'll do that first. Um, this one here. Donna, here's the 151. started sold d7117 super seven we appreciate you purple passion i've got a lot of passion for purple all right so this um all right you got to check this out i think it's actually it should have some kind of darker background here let's do this All right, so this is what a lot of people would call cat's eye hematite. Oh. And for a long, long time, I thought it was hematite. And it's way cooler than hematite. Uh, it's actually way more rare than hematite. And I almost don't want to sell it, but I have some really good ones that I kept. Um, this is, this was tested in Japan and I was at an exhibition when the lady who tested it got her, her results back and it came back as cinnabar in quartz, which is ridiculously rare. I've only seen it in one location in China in specimens and I was never able to get a piece. Uh, so this is from South India. This is cat's eye cinnabar in quartz it's got a little rainbow on the side it's really cool uh, yeah it's just super neat cinnabar itself is crazy rare cat's eye cinnabar like i don't even think cat's eye cinnabar exists in general but it does in quartz and only from south india so you know again with the background like that and this is the only one that i have to offer it is 563 250 bucks 
And this stuff has not come very often at all. They haven't found it in ages. Uh, every time I see one, I buy it. But I really don't get a chance to buy one even once a year. Uh, this one I bought many years ago. And, yep, it's the only one I have. So if you're looking for something super weird that nobody else has as an inclusion in quartz that you can wear, Cat's Eye Cinnabar. Mm. Not something you see every day. All right. I think... I'm done with this section here. Uh, I guess let me let me do my recap here. So this one, a little bit of amethyst with some hematite. That's forty. And the rectangle. Well, that looks like a phantom on the camera. What's going on there? It's just the way it's cut. It almost looked like amethyst. That one is five sixty-eight. Six, uh, 90 bucks and this one is 566 Cat's eyes in a bar. Alright, I'm stuck. Okay. What is the next thing to show? You guys have any preferences for those of you that are still with us? Did you catch our preview video? We've got Prophecy Stones, Agnimani, Sujolite, Rough Opal, Citrine, Tumbled Stones, um, Numite from Greenland, the actual really good new mic. We've got really good prophecy stones, and we've got pyrite in quartz, large cabochons, and some fluorite polish points. Citrine. Somebody said citrine? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll do those. That's pretty easy to do. All right, so. Citrine, this is natural citrine. It's not been treated in any way. This is from Monza in Zambia. This is a deposit that I have been working on for a while. And it polishes and tumbles really, really, really good. This one is $16. And I've got like six of them. They're all pretty much in a similar price range, 15 to 20 bucks. They're all super, super good. This one is 18. Stars forever. I see star is forever. $16 claim. Thank you very much. That's a new name for us, I believe. Welcome. Thank you for being here. This one is 18. It's a really nice citrine. Like, all of this could probably be faceted. That's how good it is. Let's see here. I don't even have my light in the right place. Uh, you don't really need a lot of light for these. This is just crazy. That's 503 is 18. This one is also 18. This one is 504. And I tumbled a bunch of these, and these are the biggest ones in the batch. I do have some smaller ones. I didn't prep them, but if for some reason you want something smaller, uh, I can probably arrange that too. And it's 18. This one is 22. 505 is the skew. Again, this is natural colored citrine. It's no treatment. Only thing that's done been hap that has been done to it is that it's been through the tumbling process. 
What's done with the pennants before these were Super 7 uh, Amethyst with Hematite. And we had one uh, really crazy Cat's Eye Cinnabar in Quartz, which is a super rare inclusion. Thanks for being here. There's another Citrine. That one's 20. And the last Citrine... Also 20. It almost looks like amber. It's such a crazy color, but it's definitely a lot harder than amber. Very nice citrine. So those are available. They're gonna be here in the background. And what am I gonna show next? You guys know what new might is? New might is crazy. I think I'm gonna wait on that. I'm gonna do this flat. Twenty. Uh, there's two of them that are twenty. Which one of these did you want? There's that one, and there's that one. Five oh six and five oh seven. Pretty similar, same size. Five oh six. All right, cool. Yeah, there's not, not much difference between those. They're both really awesome. All right, so we keep those in the background. Get myself some water. I might have to play some music in the middle of this show. All right. So we're gonna do fluorite. Uh, I have four towers and three mushrooms. So this is a cool little mushroom. It's got a little stowaway in there. It's like some fungus on the inside. <laughs> it's not really fungus, but we can pretend. Uh, this is rainbow fluorite is what they call it. This one is blue and purple and maybe a little bit of green. It's got some banding, it's got some white, and it is about three fingers, and it is $28. It's skew 486. Another fluorite mushroom. Got a little pit on the bottom, but it's, it still stands up great. Let me see. And it's got some blue and some green, a little bit of purple on the bottom. It's got some banding. It's got like a heart right here. See that? That's a pretty one. Uh oh. Don't show Nicole. There's a heart. <laughs> yeah, right here. See that? Sparkly heart. Sparkly heart. That one's 18, 486. And last but not least, in the mushroom garden, we got this fluorite. Two or three colors. Oh, look at that one. That one's got those little sprays of stuff inside. I don't remember what that is, but it's cool. The white stuff? Yeah, little flowers. Yeah. I forgot what that is. But it's pretty neat. And that one is also $18. Those are the only mushrooms that I have. And I might have to zoom out for this, for the points. Yep, I gotta zoom out. So this is a big point. This is the entire length of my hand. It's 
got nice banding. It's got good color. Stands up well. Good polish. And that one is $483. $50. There's another one. It's multicolored. Also about the size of my hand. And that one's also fifty dollars. Four eighty four. Next one, about the same size. Nice color, good banding. Same price. And then I've got one that's just massive. This is way bigger. This is like three times the weight, and it's a really big one. It's really nice. One twenty five. And that is all of the fluoride that I have to show you. Next up, I'm going to do pyrite and quartz. And I might have to stop and play some music at some point. So, pyrite and quartz from Brazil. These are flat sheets of pyrite, a different form than one of the ones I showed the other night. It's in a different price bracket. It's got the red hematite and other iron oxides. Uh, this one's got a nice flat, shimmery, gold leaf looking pyrite. And this one is $25, 480. Next one. I think this was the fav my favorite one in the group. Probably should show it last, but it doesn't really matter. It's all nice, like flat pyrite suns. A bunch of them in there. That one looks like something, but I don't really know what. It's pretty cool. It's got that nice iron oxide in there. Iron oxide, better known as rusty. Ha 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 ha. That's me. So, of course, I love pyrite. Have to. An article just came out a couple days ago that said fool's gold might not actually be for fools, that there's actually microscopic amounts of gold in it. And I believe that they knew that, but I think somebody said that they figured out a way to extract it, which means that there might be a lot more value in these pyrites if they can extract the gold out of it. Um, might mean that the price of pyrite starts to go up from certain localities. You notice the little rainbow here? That's pretty cool. And this is my favorite piece in the group. This one is $88. Super good piece. Very unique. Good sprays of pyrite. Or I guess it wouldn't be sprays, but groupings, you could call it. Uh, there's another one. This is a nice clear quartz with three main pyrites inside. So clear you can see what's going on in the back. 
and it's sort of magnifies because of the way that it's domed. It really does look like gold. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? There's various uh, degrees of the color gold that comes out in pyrite. Sometimes it can be really gold, and sometimes it can be a little bit more silvery. This one's a little bit more silvery. This is a big piece. I don't even know. I mean, you could call it a cabochon. It could be a specimen or even a palm stone. It's just like a small palm stone. It's a pyrite in quartz. This one, seventy dollars. Next up, this piece is bigger. And smaller pyrites. It's like little freckles. Pyrite freckles. That'd be one really big pendant, for sure. The other one was pretty big, too. This one is almost too big to be a pendant. I guess if you like really big pendants, it could be a pendant. This one is $50. This one is loaded with iron oxides and little um, like areas that used to have probably pyrites. You can see the hollow places. Might be some limonite cubes in there that dissolved. A little bit of pyrite and these weird cubes in here. It's nice and neat. A lot of iron oxide. That's super cool. Quartz is so fascinating. There's, it's never ending. There's always something new that can be found in quartz, from inclusions to habits and stuff like that. This one is twenty dollars. All right, we got two more, and then I think I'm gonna play some music. This one is 60. This is got lots of freckles in it and a little bit of rainbow. It reflects back the light really well all across the thing, both the pyrites and the veil inside of it. Last but not least, oh. it's Purdy, that's right. Thanks for joining us. It's got some more pyrite freckles in there. This is about three fingers in size. D sold 88. That is a very good choice. That's definitely my favorite of the group. Thank you, Donna. I appreciate it. And back to the last piece of the pyrite. That one is $70. All right. That does it for the pyrite. I will do a quick recap. Got the mushrooms, that one's 18. Got this one, that one is 18. And this large one is about twice the weight, that one's 28. It's got little stowaways. Four fluoride points. This one's fifty. That one. And that one. 
each of those are 50. Four tumbled citrines. That's basically facet grade citrine. Yeah, that is a big point there. It's probably one of the bigger ones that I've owned. There's another facet facet grade citrine. That one's 22. This one is 20. That one's 18. And again, those are natural citrines. No treatments. And pyrites again. That one's 25. This guy is 50. one is 20. This one, 70. All right, done with that group. Go ahead and put these, put these over here. Let's see here, make some room. How and why do they tumble the crystal? Well, if uh, it's missing a point and it's broken, that's a good reason to tumble it. Uh, how they use tumbling machines where they use uh, different uh, different grits so it takes it down to uh, one level they grind it to the shape and then the next level they get it a little bit more refined and then they go through like three or four or five different grits to get the high polish um, it's also a really popular shape it's good for metaphysical use it's good for holding it's good for decoration um, yeah so that's why, uh, generally speaking, don't tumble uh, crystals that are perfect, but it does happen if there's an overabundance of production or something, or if there's just a demand for tumbles or something like that. Okay. What's next? Hmm. All right, let's see if you guys are interested in opal. Y'all should go tag your friends and get them to come join us so we can have a big party. <laughs> okay. We are in a big party. Right? This is a big party already. We got flowers. It's a party. Okay, opal rough. Uh, let's see here. So this, all of my opal is from Ethiopia. And it's from Wello. And all of this is stable. It doesn't need to be kept in water. Uh, it's got lots of different colors. Um, I have been importing directly from Ethiopia for a number of years now. And Opal Rough is our best-selling product on Etsy. Um, we sell crazy amounts of it, and 
we mostly sell entry level opal for people who just like hey i want opal our our cheapest offering on etsy is 13 dollars for five grams and we sell that like hand over fist uh, to somebody who just wants to try and get a piece of opal that's got some flash and get excited about it and all of our opal has flash uh, we don't sell any opal without flash and everything I'm showing you tonight is individual, so this is a little bit higher grade, a little bit larger size. Uh, I would not recommend them for cutting, because they're either too thin or some of them have cracks or whatever. They're good for specimens, but you don't have to keep them in water. Uh, very amazing dance and play of colors. Uh, as anybody knows, if you've dealt with opal or played with opal, so this piece is $20, it's 518. Next up, this one's different, a little bit different colors, different base. Daniel S-T-R-Z-E, claim $20. Thank you, Daniel, for Daniel's, Daniel, okay. Daniel Stars. All right, the next one is this. Uh, and I will say, if, if you bought Opal online, you will probably know, but there are very few, if any, cameras that will actually pick up all of the colors like your eyes will. Now, everybody's a little different. Maybe sometimes people have a little bit of colorblind or they can't see as well, whatever. But when I look at this Opal with my eye, it is much more alive than what you're seeing on the camera. It is more vibrant, it has more color, and it has more light reflectiveness to it. Um, it also looks good on the camera. But just so you know, when you get them, they're gonna be better. That's very typical for Opal. This one is $30, 519. That's a really nice one. All these are really nice. These are all ones that I hand selected. To show you tonight. This one's got a really good play of color. Uh, this one probably could be polished. I thought about opening the back up on this one. Um, it's pretty solid and it's pretty three-dimensional so I would say that one. What price does shipping start? Uh, for domestic USA shipping, it is $5. And then when you get over 100, I think we jump to 10, so that we ship it priority. We ship everything with signature confirmation. And yeah, so five bucks is the minimum for shipping. And this stone is $32. 520 is the SKU number. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. And the next opal that we have to show you is this one. This is more of a honey-colored base. Uh, it has the sectioning of the opal color. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rusty ships super fast. Rusty built a fulfillment center in his driveway. <laughs> I have a, my shipping manager comes to work at 5 o'clock in the morning, seven days a week. By choice, actually. I don't force him to do that. He just loves to be here. He loves the energy of the stones. And we have a 15-person shipping team. And processing. They don't all do shipping. There's usually four to six people shipping, a couple people pulling, somebody managing, and other people that are pre-wrapping and opening and skewing and doing all that kind of stuff. So we have quite a processing team. I... Built my infrastructure first, uh, well before taking any profits. We put all our money back into the company and we pay everybody really well. We make sure that they're not overburdened. If somebody has too much work to do, we hire somebody else. What stones do you have today? We showed Peter site first and we did a star uh, golden root heel cabochons. And we did Super 7 Pendants. Uh, if you want to go back to my bio, you can look at the video that I posted about a couple hours ago. And I give you a little overview of everything that we're going to show. Um, 
So that would be easier than me just repeating it all because I did make a video that's there on our, on our wall on our, as a post. So this one is $25. That is a nice Ethiopian Wello Opal. I'll move to the East Coast if you're hiring. <laughs> we appreciate that. Um, are you serious? <laughs> This one is really cool. This is almost a blue base opal. Uh, it's a very vibrant blue with lots of colors. And like I said, the colors are gonna be more vibrant when you see this in your hand. Um, opals don't show up nearly as well on camera as they do to the eye. Uh, we live outside of Asheville, North Carolina in the Appalachian Mountains. It is the safest place on the planet and we have the best weather unless you don't like humidity, but everywhere else is over 100 right now, and our, we're in summer temps, and our summer temps barely break 90, and we get down into the low 60s at night, and we have a billion fireflies, and yeah, we love it here. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else, and I've traveled all over the world, and there's lots of great places in the world, don't get me wrong. There's plenty of places that I could see myself living, but not as nice and as amazing as Appalachia. Anyways, so this is nice blue opal. That one's 45 bucks. And you know, these opals are killer. Great prices, really affordable. You guys should buy some. Awesome, yeah. Asheville downtown has changed a lot. It's a good place though. It's still got lots of nice things. Whoop, almost dropped it. So this one does not want to show up on the camera nearly as much as what I see with my eyes. All these little dots in here. This is just, this opal is incredible. It, you can still see it, but it definitely gets highlighted a lot better when you see it in person. And this one. It's nice and flat. This would make a really good wire wrap. It's like ready to go. It's super good. That one's 50 bucks. 513. Hooey, it's getting hot in here. You know, we don't do, well, we don't make any pendants. Um, but there are tons of people online that can help you do that. Um, maybe one day we'll hire a jeweler. I don't have the patience for that kind of stuff. Greetings. Thanks for being here, Deepasha. Uh, this one is what I call banded. It's got these really specific sections here. Yep, see, there you go, Will. He wire wraps. Maybe you can get him to uh, to wire wrap it for you. That's a pretty one. Yeah, that one's super cool. I love how it has these sections here. Like you can see how it dances, where it's like it just jumps from section to section. That one's called banded. Where the color? Look at this fire! Oh my goodness! Fire, water, fire, <laughs> water, fire. Fire, 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 water. Wow. It's also really good for wire wrapping. That one's nice and flat, and it's ready to go to somebody who will make a nice piece of jewelry out of it, or just appreciate it as it is. This one is $42. And next up, I got seven more opals to show you. And you guys have got to love these. You really need to take one of these home with you because they're awesome. And opal is the number one most popular stone on the internet. It's not just my store, but it is the number one rock that sells on the internet. And the reason is just because of the play of colors. Everybody loves opal. It's opal fever. And I think it shows up great in videos. You know, obviously the play of color, even despite the fact that most cameras don't even show it perfectly, people just love it. And it's easy to photograph. 
It's easy to appreciate. It's easy to get lost in it. Opal fever is a real thing. People love it. I didn't believe that I would get opal fever, and then I started selling opals, and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. That one is $38. All right, the next one. Greek gods came down and stepped on the land it created opal. I believe it. This one's also banded. You can see the okay. distinct sections. It's got some nice mm -hmm. fire. How do the gods. <laughs> how do the colors form? You know, I'm not really sure that I can answer that. I should probably read up on that. Um I get so enamored by the just the looking at it <laughs> I, I definitely don't proclaim to know everything about rocks uh, I know my fair share but I can't tell you exactly how the colors happen but I can tell you that it's awesome <laughs> I don't really need to say that it's kind of obvious opal's amazing everybody loves opal all right so that one four dollars it's like cotton candy Ooh, it's getting hot in here I can't wait till I can install my new AC the AC that I have in this room on during the live show so I turn it off and I'm boiling and we're gonna we're gonna change that what uh, it's pausing on your end. Uh -huh. Didn't pause on my end. Okay. That's weird. All right, this is a pretty, this is a bigger opal. And it's got all the colors, all the dance. Nice little band in there. Probably could cut a section of that one. That one is $60. Here's the next one. This might be the biggest one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that blue one definitely was delicious. This one it's a little bit thicker. Yes, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> Layers of the spheres inside the opal at a molecular level, so as the light passes, all the colors bounce off on each other. Thank you very much, Jade. We appreciate you for educating us. 75 bucks on that one. And if you guys can't live without one, we do take afterpay. We can push it through our website if you need to make payments. If you want to get more than one, maybe I'll round down on the price a little bit. If you see a couple that you like, we need to get some movement going on in here. It's the first time we've done a show during the week, and so far we've only done Sunday shows. Wow, look at this one. This is crazy. This one's 60 bucks. That one's number 510. This one's got all kinds of stripes and bands. Very good color zoning. Oh. See, we got this like, like aqua blue in there. Can you see that? That's crazy. What's not to love about opal? Again, that one was 60 bucks. All right, two more opals. 
This one is an orange-based opal. Showing good colors. More colors in in my in person. I can definitely see more with my eyes. I think that's more the case with the orange ones. It doesn't come up nearly as well on the camera as it does in the hand. And that one is 42. And this is the last one. This one's also three dimensional. dealer I believe that's the 48 yeah the last one okay this one here for the real rock dealer <laughs> well you waited till the end you got the last one that's good um, just so you know I don't know I don't know if Sam's still with us but just in general if you guys have a retail store or you sell online uh, with some products we can do wholesale, not the products that I'm showing specifically tonight, um, but the Opal, I do have very good sources and I'm buying it on a regular basis. So if you want to get into parcels of Opal, I have many different grades and qualities and sizes that I can offer. Uh, we usually sell them by kilo. So if you are interested in wholesale opals, I can definitely provide you. I'm going to start from here. So we're going to recap really quickly. This one is 30. Let's zoom in a little bit. That one's 30. This one is 45. Pretty sure that's one of my favorites. Just looks like ocean with fire inside. Not that, that makes sense, but it's cool. And that one is 50. That one is 38. And we have lots of individual opals in our Etsy shop. And we're about to list a bunch more. So if there wasn't one that you saw that you really wanted, but you do want to get an opal, please go to our Etsy shop. Uh, we actually have two Etsy shops. Uh, Throwing Stones is the obvious one, and our sister shop is Crystal Shops USA, both of which have different individual opals. Yep, there she is. <laughs> this one is 25 great price this one has the bands oh, I think I flipped that here that one's 42 that one is 44 44 that one is 75 42 and that one is 60 going once going twice just kidding they're still going to be here all right so if I was to play some music, are half of you going to leave? <laughs> <laughs> My music isn't bad. I promise I won't sing. Actually, I can sing. You might want me to sing. But um, I might want to play some music. But sometimes the number count up in the top right corner starts to go down 
because I know you guys want to see rocks. No, no, don't play music. <laughs> oh, play music, she says. Okay, sweet. Thanks, Casey. All right, I'll play some music just for you. Uh, one second, I'm going to grab something. All right.
Thanks for joining us. That's called a hand pan. Uh, it is a fusion drum combining the steel drum from Trinidad with an Indian clay pot from South India. And it's a lovely instrument. It is uh, absolutely an instrument to help call in the shift and to help in the ascension process definitely uh, activates the upper chakras. Uh, it's an evolution in the instrument world because uh, the steel drum was uh, not refined enough to get those really warm, angelic tones. And by nitriding the metal, which hardens it, and then going through the process of putting the bass on, uh, creates a chamber on the inside and it gives it all kinds of really amazing properties. Thanks for listening. I don't think I'm going to last until midnight tonight. Um, so, you guys need to get pretty serious about buying if you want me to keep going. So, I'm going to show you some more stones. And we will see how it goes. And I appreciate you all for being here. There's definitely no requirement or pressure to buy. Uh, it definitely, of course, helps us stay enthusiastic and gives us energy. Uh, I can definitely lull myself to sleep with my own voice. And it's inspiring to show, to show you stones and talk about them. All right. We are going to do prophecy stones now. Let's see, I need to make some space.
All right. Prophecy stones are the coolest thing in the world. All right. Prophecy stones are pseudomorphs of marcasite and sometimes pyrite. Transforming into limonite and hematite. And a pseudomorph is when one mineral forms and it creates the shape of that mineral. And then it is replaced by another mineral but keeps the original form of the first mineral. And this is a wacky weird one with some blades and whatnot. That is definitely an interesting piece. And that one is $60. Yeah, recap on the root heel. Uh, we could do that before we start really quickly. Maybe. Did they? Where's that? Was that while I was playing? Or did uh, the comment not come through? D. Oh, recap on the root heel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do now. Yep. Donna, let me recap on the root heel. Uh, I'll just, I could do that really quickly. So this one... This is 150. For those of you just joining us now, this is uh, golden rutile and star patterns uh, coming off of hematite. Here's a square with a double star. That one's 85. And this one, oops. This little guy is 100. It's nice and clean. It's an oval. And this one is a double star. It's in a modified teardrop. And this one. Yes, these would all make really nice pendants. And maybe in the future I will offer them as pendants, but we have enough going on and we don't have a jewelry facility in-house. I do most of my jewelry fabrication overseas. And I'll get these or other ones like them set in silver at some point. That one's 150. That one is 100. Last one. That's one of the bigger ones. It's a little bit milky, but so there's the recap, Donna. Okay, let me know if any of those work for you. If you remember the price, call it out. I can help you on that one. Okay, prophecy stones. Can I see the first one again? Yeah, no problem. That's actually the largest one. All right. Thank you very much, Donna. We appreciate it. Happy to take the time and go back and look for you. All right, we're going to move on to the prophecy stones. Again, these are limonite pseudomorphs after marcasite. This is a classic marcasite shape. It's just super, super, super cool. It almost looks like a alien bug or something weird. Super neat. These things are so cool. They're just like the neatest crystals. That one is twenty-five dollars. We are offering them for really affordable prices. Uh, we we are one of the 
one of the instrumental suppliers of this material. If you see any other hands, it's definitely a lot of it has come through our hands. Thank you, Donna. I appreciate you. Have a great night. Super cool. That one is $23. This one. Very neat. Do you have an apart marcasite and pyrites in one piece? I feel like there was one. That one's $25. Um there was a long one that had it. I'm not sure if this is what you mean. Um, it's got cubic pyrites there. And maybe the whole thing is kind of like marcasite with pyrites on the outside. That one is a bigger one. That one's 50 bucks. Um, I know there's one. I don't know if I grabbed that one, but I think I did. Where's this long one? Uh, not. This one is cubic. I like the pyrite. Uh, the difference pretty much is the original shape. Uh, Marcasite is pretty specific. And pyrite is pretty specific. Pyrites are cubic. Most of them are marcasites. And marcasite grows in all kinds of weird shapes. That one's fifteen dollars. Uh, this one might be one that has an elongated marcasite and has pyrite cubes on the sides. That one is twenty dollars. This one's kind of like a club. Palm tree. Yeah, like a palm tree. This one's really, really different and unique. It's got the squarish edges like that. triangular growth here it's really neat it's got an elongated feature to it as well and that one is 30 bucks this is a classic flower very nice there's a little V on there Eighteen dollars. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's super affordable. A couple of years ago, that would have been like a hundred bucks. Yeah. And here's another one with the cubes on the end. That one's thirty-one. I think I'm only gonna show half of these. Yeah, it did have like a Merkaba type. So it's elongated, it's marcasite, but it has the cubic parts. It has it's pyrite. Yes, originally it was pyrite if it was cubic. 
the elongated ones are marcasite. The flower ones are marcasite. The cubes are pyrite. Uh, this this type, I don't really know if that was. I mean, because it's in a flower formation, it didn't start out as pyrite. But the cubes, maybe it transformed to pyrite. I'm not totally familiar with the morphology and crystallography of all the different types of marcasite. Marcasite does crazy stuff. It really does. So that could have been completely marcasite, or maybe it changed to pyrite and then it pseudomorphed into limonite. With all of them are in the iron oxide and iron uh, phosphate families. I think I got that right. They're all iron. How about that? Mm -hmm. Good for the blood. Definitely good for consciousness. They're grounding and they're also uh, good visionary stones. This is, this is super cool. Hey Simon, thank you. Yes, they are epic. Epic, 25 bucks on that one. This is a, this is a steal. These definitely used to be a lot more expensive and now we can offer them for really reasonable prices. This is like a pineapple flower. It's a little bit bigger one than the other ones. It's just so cool. Nature's so cool. Like how did, it's just so cool. How did they find these? And how did they form? We know how they formed with lots of iron, but the, the way that the marcasite forms in like nature's geometry and sacred geometry type shapes it's just super super cool this one i think is the best one or my, at least my favorite one in the lot this is much bigger and very sharp and it's like got christmas trees all over it super 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 definitely the best one in the box in my opinion. They're all really cool. They all have their own uniqueness. Yeah, it's like plant-like. Yeah, it's like a pine cone. It's on steroids or something. And that one is $100. There's a couple of different ones. This is more like kind of like a dumbbell. That one's 28. This one's like a little Christmas tree. Oh, there's one that's like, yeah, I don't remember who was asking. Let me see. Are you still here? I'm scrolling. Oh, that's cool. There he is. Yeah, where's that comment? Um, yeah, uh, Alley Cat, one that has marcasite and pyrite. So this is pyrite here, and then the rest of it is marcasite. And it's got the elongated shape and spiky. Here's another one. There's pyrite, pyrite, pyrite. And that one is 33. All right, sold. Alley Cat. 
Alley Cat 326, thank you very much. We appreciate you. That is a really cool one. This one's a little different. Got a couple more. Uh, DM by email, you can do that. We also, um, we will create an invoice on our website and send you the link tomorrow so that you can check out there. You're perfectly welcome to DM us your email as well. Uh, email is always good. Some people don't check their Instagram messages very much. I really, really, really wish that Instagram would change to allow people to have notifications for messages, but not notifications for everything else because everyone turns off their notifications. And you have to go into the app to get messages unless you have your Facebook page manager on, which most people that are using that are doing business. And most people who are just on to use it for social media don't have their messages turned on. So there's a lag time, and it's okay. But sometimes people don't check their messages. Like the real rock dealer. <laughs> you still with us, my friend? Make sure you check your messages. All right. I think that's going to be it for the Prophecy Stones. Oh, no, I'll do one more. And then I'll do a recap. Um, I appreciate you guys all watching. <laughs> Just make sure we, uh, we settle up after tonight's show. I want to make sure you get your rocks on time. We are really uh, proud to get them out fast don't like don't like to let them sit so i want you to have your rocks my friend this one is super 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 cool it's just like it's got kind of a merkaba energy to it as well it's got a trapeche like energy to it it's just super neat that's this one reminds me of some alien stuff That one's 58. Yeah, we got lots of spiky ones too, Spirit Crystals. I will recap those for you really quickly. Uh, Alley Cat, we are in outside of Asheville, North Carolina. So really quickly, uh, two Spirit Crystals, spiky ones. This one is $18. Uh, this one, $18. Most of the ones that I showed are spiky tonight. It's spiky in different ways. That one's 55. Uh, this one's a different kind of spiky. Okay, 18. Uh, we'll stop right there. And by all means, won't, don't stop you if you want some more. Thank you very much. Two spirit crystals. I've got you down claimed for that one for 18. And this was the, this was the, the super spiky one, 55, which one was that? That was this one. All right, got you on that one. I can show you some other ones. This one is my favorite of the spiky ones. This is probably the most defined of all of them. It's bigger than most of the other ones, and it's the most spiky one that I have to offer. That one's 100. Awesome. Two spirit crystals. We're very grateful for you. Thank you, Nicole. Those two right there okay. for her. I assume to her. I don't know why, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Here's another spiky one. Different kind of spiky. <laughs> I like that. I like your style, Two Spirit Crystals. It's like, I'm here. Show me the rocks. Okay, I want them. You need to teach the others how to do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here's another spiky one. That one's $23. Sort of flat on the bottom. You know, I have one of these on my altar that looks like Ganesh. That's still my favorite one. 
There's so many of them that are so neat. But I have one that looks just like Ganesh. And I'm like, yeah, that's my Ganesh. And so we're kind of doing the recap at the moment for those of you who have been with us. That one's 25. I am definitely not going in any particular order, so I might be going backwards. And here's one that's after pyrite cubes. That one is 15. All right. That's going to do it for Prophecy Stones for tonight. Uh, I can definitely show them again if you are interested. I don't think I'm going to make it to midnight tonight like we usually do. I'm not feeling as much energy tonight. Crystal Garden, 23 claim. Uh, let me see if I can find the 23 one. Was it this one with the flat base? This one here. You wanna verify that one for me, Crystal Garden? Pretty sure that's the one I would just held up a minute ago. Just wanna make sure I get you the right one. Pretty sure that's the only 23. All right, that's a confirmation. Thank you very much. We are very grateful for you. Here's another one that's got the pyrite and the marcasite at the same time. That one is 20 bucks. That's strange. So his phone kicked him out. Phone kicked you out? It's because you didn't check your messages. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. I'm going to put these prophecy stones away. Going once, going twice. We will always be able to come back to them. They're going to be sitting here in this box. So next we are going to do... I think we should do Sujolite now. Sujolite seems to be really popular. And we have a good bit of Sujolite. Uh, so. I think, yeah, I think actually we're almost done. We might get through all this early tonight. So, Sujalite, rah, rah, rah. Sujalite. All right, so all I have for Sujalite tonight is tumbled stones, and there's a range of quality, and they're all really cool. So first up, this one is Richterite and Bustamite. And maybe a little bit of Sujolite. That was super cool. This is all coming from the Kalahari manganese field in South Africa. Uh, Sujolite and I have a love affair. It's not quite the same love affair as I have with Ahoite, but it is pretty fantastic. Sujolite is the stone of dreams. And I can verify that Sujolite has made a lot of my dreams come true. Uh, it seems to show up when I need it the most and I keep it under my pillow and I keep some under my bed and Sujolite is unbelievable. It is a manganese mineral, that's what gives it the color. Uh, it predominantly comes from the Kalahari manganese field. There are a couple of lo other localities in the world but they don't really produce very much. Uh, it originally came from Japan. That's where they first found it and named it. 
and is named after Dr. Sugi. It's actually Sugi Light, but most people just call it Suja Light because they don't know that. And that's okay. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it Spooja Light if you want. This one is $30. 534 is the skew. And we're going to put that one right there. 23 claim. Is that? No, I'm sorry, that's back. Yep, that was from the other parcel. And here's the next Suja Light. of cool little patterns and stuff going on with it. Sujalite comes in like a million different forms. Every time they find it, it's a little bit different. And every time they find it, it sells out. This one is $35. It's one of the most popular minerals and it is one of the more difficult ones to obtain. It is one of the ones where the supply does not meet the demand by any stretch of the imagination. I could sell an entire warehouse full of Sujalite probably five times, and I still would have people knocking down my door to get it. And I wish I could get that much. That would be great. This one is $35. This is all sujolite, my friend. I don't have any perperite. All we have is sujolite. Sujolite is one of my power stones. I have a pretty awesome relationship with sujolite. It, it always shows up right at the right time when I need help and assistance. And it is definitely a dream manifester for both in the dream world as well as in the physical reality. Sujalite is multidimensional and it definitely likes to help manifest dreams. That one's $20. I can attest. Living proof. Good old Sujalite. Gotta love it. Can't get enough Sujalite. It's not possible. Thirty dollars. Give me some nicer color. That one is forty dollars. This one it's a little bit bigger. That one is seventy five. some brighter color. Got a couple different colors there. And then that one is 527.75. So Super nice. It's got freckles. Uh -huh. Nice color. It's a cute one. My wife says it's cute. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. All right. 
This one is $39. It's a nice big surface area for that one. Well, I don't know why that one's $39, but that's okay. It's $39. Top middle. It's thirty dollars. Con artist thirty-eight. It's more like a lilac, lavenderish purple. Shows a little bit of translucency. All right, got two more. This is a bigger piece, it's Last one. That one is forty dollars. And the other thing that I have for Sujolite is little groups here. Jammy ones, handmade earth. I'm not sure about jammy ones. Spark. I'll, I'll ask you that and answer that in a second. Sparkle of Butte. Spark of Butte. Top right is this one here. It's really got nice swirly patterns. This is some red jasper there. Really neat looking stuff. So jammy ones, I don't think any of the ones that I have tonight are jammy, like super jammy. I don't have a lot of really jammy stuff. It's kind of hard to keep that one in stock. All right, 35, Spark of Butte. Thank you very much. Con Artist, which is the best one? I think that is very subjective. Um, it really depends on your color palette and what you like. I think this one is probably the best one. This one is 75. Um, pendants and jewelry in, in Sujolite. I do have some other ones. I don't have them prepared for tonight. So Con Artist 38, this one in my opinion is the best one. I'm not, it's kind of a personal preference. You know, I think maybe just because it's a little bit more rich in purple. Um, I do also like this one. And Sujolite is a color shift mineral. We got mostly white light. If you put this under yellow light. Yes, Lauren Elizabeth Warren. Here's 526. All right, claim for Con Artist 38, top middle. That's that one. I think that's a great choice, Con Artist 38. So Lauren Elizabeth, here's 526, and 524 is this one. quartz there a little bit thin right there but it's nice it's got really good color yes this is definitely sujolite I know not everybody knows the difference between sujolite and cherawite and purple right it's not always that easy but um, I assure you that it's sujolite 
Crystal Garden, 39. I'm assuming that's a price. This one, right? Crystal Garden, you want to confirm that one? Confirm that for me, and I'll put that aside for you. Crystal Garden, I assume that's the one you want. I think that's pretty sure it's the only one at 39. Lauren Elizabeth, wait, Lauren Elizabeth Warren. Okay, Crystal Garden says yes on this one. And 524, Lauren Elizabeth Warren. Thank you very much. That is a claim. That's there. All right, does anybody else want to see any of these up close? Got a handful left. I also have these groups here. I can do these as partial groups. Um, this is going to be just a straight gram price. Uh, I was going to sell them in five gram increments at least. Uh, there's probably... So this lot, this is 65 grams total. Uh, definitely you don't have to buy it all. Yes, please, just missed it. Can I see the larger ones? Yeah, hold on a second. Okay, so for Mentor Mentor, this is the largest one that I've shown. It's 18 grams. And it is in the mauve color category which I really love. That one's 75. Oh, you're on a Suja Light Kick? Yeah, me too. I'm permanently on a Suja Light Kick. I literally, I'm not joking, I literally will get on a plane within one hour if I'm shown the right Suja Light. I did that <laughs> actually in April. Somebody showed me a parcel of Suja Light that was in Tucson and I committed over the phone and I packed a bag and I got on a plane, just like that. And I spent like a hundred grand because <laughs> that happens with Suja Light. Uh, so from Enter Mentor, that was the biggest piece. Uh, this one is also really nice. I think this is my favorite one. This is the dark, or no, I wouldn't say dark. This is the brightest purple that I have to offer tonight. Uh, it's probably the second largest piece. It's not the largest by weight, but it's probably the largest by surface area, other than the other one that I showed you. Uh, this one by weight is also really nice. Yeah, yeah. Suja Light does it for me. One of these days I'm going to show off my collection. I'm just going to do a live. I mean, it's going to take like 30 or 40 lives to show off all the collection because it ta there's a story behind every piece. Um, but one day, maybe next week one time, I will... So for Mentor Mentor, this is the one with the most beautiful color, in my opinion. That has the best purple. It's got a little bit of pink. And... Yeah. I will definitely show portions of my collection uh, maybe I, you know maybe I'll start out some shows doing that to gain some interest um, be like okay we're gonna play some music for five minutes or ten minutes and then I'm gonna show my collection for 20 or 30 minutes and then we'll sell some rocks all right for mentor mentor that is a confirmation on claim 527 Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. Okay. Back to these. Can we see some of your collection now? Um. <laughs> James, I'll take something out just for you. Let me do some, let me see. But see, most of, a lot of my collection is polished, but that's just because I'm a junkie for inclusions. So I'll be right back. Let me grab something out of the drawer. And I'll show you something out of my collection real quick. <clears throat> All right. So... It should go without saying, 
This is definitely not for sale, so don't even ask. <laughs> or, you know, if you want to spend like seven figures or something, I will let something go if you're literally willing to like throw down some dumb price that I can't say no to, but like it would literally have to be some crazy, 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 crazy price. So this one just came in. I bought this last year and I totally forgot to get it shipped. And my friend who I bought it from was like, oh, yeah, you bought this. I was like, hey, where's that piece that you forgot to send me? And he's like, oh, and he sent it. And then he sent this other one. I was like, oh, my God, you got to be kidding me. I totally forgot. Uh, yes, this is Demortiorite. It's polished on the front. It is kind of ridiculous because of all of those crazy sprays and then you know just to have a flower in the top i mean like you gotta be kidding me so there's a teaser from the collection and i've got one more piece to show you and i hope that you have some extra underwear <laughs> because this piece it's so dumb that it makes me crazy. All right, you ready for this? Check this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I don't even know. I can't even count how many bubbles. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty-five, thirty-seven. <laughs> I don't even know. But like I said, that's a panty dropper. <laughs> and again, not for sale unless you want to offer me like a million dollars. Which I actually wouldn't even let you do that. Unless you were crazy rich and you were like, I have a billion dollars and I'll give you a million dollars for that. I would totally do that. But otherwise, <laughs> not for sale. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> Someone's offering a kidney. I don't need a kidney. I have two very perfectly healthy kidneys. <laughs> Somebody else we heard. <laughs> Yeah, that one's pretty crazy. All right, so there's my collection pieces for the night. I, I guess I'll make a habit out of a $10 deposit. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You can make a $10 deposit, sure. Non-refundable. <laughs> five, five million pennies? Hey, that's not a bad deal. <laughs> <laughs> five million pennies what's that like 50 grand that's pretty good i don't see five million pennies you don't see his comment no this is weird i'll give you my kid <laughs> oh no we don't take kids we already got one of those uh, that, it's not the comment isn't online no Look. isn't that weird uh, okay I'm almost done. I'm tired. Okay, so back to Sujolite really quick. I got two types of tumble here. There's this type, and there's this type, and there's this type, and there's this type. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy to show more collection stuff in the future, but you know, I run a business too, so I kind of got to sell rocks. Maybe what we'll do is I'll show a collection piece after every 20th order. How about that? That's motivation. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being silly. All right, so I got some Sujolite tumbles. We looked at those. I think you guys might be done with that. The only thing I have left to show you tonight is Agni Mani. 
and maybe you guys will want some of this. Maybe you won't. Let's see. Uh, Agnimani is an obsidian. You wild man of my dreams. It says a lot because I'm super gay. Sweet. <laughs> Uh, Sparkle of Butte Citrine is really easy. Uh, the Tumble Zuzu Who, uh, these are, uh, I can do these at, mm, say $4 a gram, probably should be 10 gram minimum. Could probably do five gram minimum, but it might be hard to hit five on the nose. And these I can do at two dollars a gram and that should probably be a random selection but if you want a bunch of them maybe i'll let you pick some all right citrine spark of butte i have four pieces of citrine that's a really killer faceted sorry not faceted facet grade piece of citrine for 18 and this one is 20. And these are natural citrines. They haven't been treated. The only thing that's happened to them is that they've been put through the tumbler. That one's 18. And the last one, that one is 22. All right, so those are off to the side here. I can show you those again if you need. Hopefully, if you want one of those, you saw the numbers. Okay, $22, you got it. Uh, that was this one. So this is Spark of Butte. Butte E, $22. Thank you very much, we appreciate you. All right, the last thing I have to show you tonight is Agni Mani, everybody's favorite obsidian. It's like the most popular thing in the world right now, right? You're welcome, thank you. This is 22. This one is 17. You know what? I need to, I need to do this here. This can make this easier. Um, it's popular because it's all the Tektite families popular right now. This is not a Tektite, but it sort of looks like one. And I'm not getting a really good enough light to show the translucency on some of these. Um, but the pseudo Tektite family of stones everybody seems to be really excited about right now. And I guess I don't even really know if I'd call it a pseudo Tektite, but. It's popular and it's pretty cool. A lot of people think it has a great energy. That one's 21 bucks. And this little group here. This is four stones for 17. And here's a really big one. That one is 33. <laughs> All right. 
There's another little group. This group is 19. Anything else to show you? A 73 grammar, yeah. Which one is that one? This one here, 73 grammar. That's the 73 grammar, Elizabeth. Lauren Elizabeth Warren. 21 for con artist claim for 549 for Laura Elizabeth Warren and con artist 21 was this one all right go ahead and confirm that one for me con artist 38. And I'm pretty sure that's the right one. That's the only 21 that I showed, as far as I can tell. To see the citrines again. Yes, the two citrines for 18 are these two. Round poop. Yes, nice claim. Thank you very much. Purple stone is sugilite or sugilite. The bigger bottom one. All right. Sounds good. This is Spark of Butte Citrine, just to confirm. That's that one. The bottom one. That is Spark of Butte. Jade, this is Sujalite. If you'd like to see, I can recap. Sujalite is a stone of dreams. The demand far outweighs the supply. Thank you, Spark of Butte. I appreciate you. And I don't have anything else to show you guys tonight. That is pretty much everything I have prepared. We could go back over the Peter site. I'm kind of surprised that, I mean, I guess it was early. We could redo the Peter site for those of you who've just joined us if you'd like. The Peter site is amazing. And maybe people were still eating dinner when we did that. And they had their mouths full. <laughs> so July. All right, there's some sewage. And we did opals. Do you guys want to see opals again? It's like with these lives, everybody comes in at a different time and we got to show them again, which is fine. So I'm getting a little tired. If you guys want to see opal or Peter site, and you think you want to make some claims, I will show them again. Otherwise, I might call it quits early tonight. So for any of y'all that are still with us, if you want to see some opal, we got opal rough, we got Peter Sight, really high quality, we have pyrite and quartz. We have some sujolite for those of you that might be just joining us. We have 
have some big fluorite. Oh, I didn't show the new mite. Maybe I should do that. You guys know what new mite is? Yeah, definitely gotta show some of the new mite. This stuff is really cool. Super, super cool, super powerful stone, really hard to get. Comes from Greenland. Um, all right, so let me see. So this is new mite for the newbie. It's pretty difficult to get this material. This is pretty good quality. I've definitely seen a lot of low quality on the internet. Not a lot, there's just a little bit. Uh, it's really actually pretty expensive to get from Greenland. Uh, this one, 37 carats, $74, ready to be put into a pendant. And if you're into the energetics of stones, Numite is super, super powerful and very popular with people who are into metaphysics. It's kind of like Labradorite on this little section here, but it's definitely got different minerals inside. Oh, yeah, and you turn it and there's like more over here. Look at that. So it's like you turn it, oh, you can't see the color. And you turn it over here and you see more color. It's very directional. I bought this out of an old high-end rough stash last year. That one's 67, 33 carats. And this one. Is that your phone? No, it's my phone. It's okay. Some new mite, numit, numit from Noom, N U U M, Greenland. I'm not sure why they call it Greenland. It's probably white most of the time. Anyways, super beautiful stuff. Really hard to get. Super high vibration. That one, I think that's the best one. Yep. Earth candy, very nice quality. It's difficult to get this stuff. And this is really good material. Very good quality. Not inexpensive per se. That's 135 I believe that's the best one. Or at least I thought it was when I priced it. But I kind of priced these without, like, crazy good lighting. And then when I, like, get it in the good lighting, I can be like, oh, it's a little better than I thought. This one. This is Numite. It's from Greenland. Uh, that one, 120. It's very directional. Nice wire wrap pendant. Are you talking about the one I had on Etsy? Pretty sure I sold that wire wrap pendant pretty quickly. Was that you that bought that? <laughs> Oh, this is not wanting to cooperate. Why is this not? I know it has flash. That one's giving me a hard time. Yeah, I'm gonna, it's like when I'm trying to show covalite. One of these days I'm going to show a bunch of covalite. It's going to be really hard. Oh, it's because the light wasn't on. <laughs> That's why. I must have hit it with my elbow. It happens a lot. Yeah, it's a little better. Still very directional. That one is 45. Ping, welcome. Thank you for being here. I can't read what I can't read what you said, but thanks for being here. Yeah, covalite and quartz. Uh, I'm gonna 
I'll prep some of that for the next show. I have the world's largest supply of covalite and quartz. And I love it. It only comes from one place. And it's been mined out. Kind of like this stuff. This stuff I'm pretty sure has been mined out as well. I don't think that they're mining more. Yeah, surely. These are good ones. I haven't shown you these yet. You're probably just going to get frozen in the office when you're here next week. Oh. You're going to be like, what am I going to do? Can I sleep in here? And then you probably just like, you'll probably ascend in the office. <laughs> I'll be like, come back, I need you. <laughs> uh, will I be in Denver for the show? I, I may go to Denver. I can't guarantee that I'm going to set up in Denver. I will probably go to do some buying. I talked about possibly setting up. Um, my Indian supplier is planning on having a big booth. And he's got some space for me, but he's not 100% sure if he's even going to be able to make it. Um, but we're going to try. So long story short, I will probably be in Denver. I don't know if I'll be setting up. I haven't set up in a mineral show in a while, and I don't really know if I want to. <laughs> That's what I'm doing this for, so the mineral, bring the minerals to you guys. So this piece is ridiculous. If you know anything about Neumite, you probably should buy one. If you don't, I don't fault you for not knowing about Neumite. It's kind of rare, and it's hard to understand, and it's hard to get. And when you do find the real stuff, it's expensive. Uh, but this is some good stuff. Uh, let's see, I got a heart here somewhere. No, oh, this one's cool. Can anyone go to a gem show? Uh, depends on the show. Predominantly, yes, anybody can go to a gem show. Uh, retail shows usually charge an entrance fee. Uh, wholesale shows, you, generally speaking, you can go to the shows. Uh, some of the shows require a tax ID to get in. Some of them don't. Uh, theft that goes on in gem shows, yeah, man. There's all. I mean, there's theft that takes place everywhere. Of course, that happens at shows. It's not crazy bad, but you know, somebody usually loses something at a show. There's always some somebody, but you know, people that steal rocks, this is this is one of a, an old friend who passed away a bunch of years ago who was crazy, crazy into metaphysics. He's like, don't steal rocks because you're standing and walking on their mother. And it's true, it's like on a karmic level, if you steal rocks, that's like, I mean, that's just kind of dumb. <laughs> but, you know, people who steal are not necessarily thinking about anything but themselves anyways. But you want to talk about karma. Like, you go and steal, like, a candy bar, that's one thing. Not that it's a good thing to do. But if you go steal a rock, like, everything's connected. All the rocks, all the people, we're all connected. Everything is just energy and vibration. And it's like you're walking around on the mother that created the rocks. You think you're going to get away with it? <laughs> it's kind of like, uh, it's not very smart to steal rocks. If you're going to steal something, steal somebody's heart. All right, that one, 70 bucks. And I mean that in, in the most positive way. <laughs> this one, speaking of heart. Yep, these are awesome. Very, very nice new mite. Very nice new mite. I got a nice bag of them. I'm gonna have to set some in jewelry. That'll be one of my next batches to send off. That one's 58. <sighs> Nice. 
95. And that's going to do it for tonight. I don't have any other stones prepared. So we can recap. We've got new might, new might, sujulite. Um, we got pyrite and quartz. There's some fluorite toadstools over there. And really nice Peter site. This is crazy good quality Peter site. The round new might, yes, I'll show that to you. Absurdly good. That is an awesome, awesome round new my it's me Adrian. That one is sixty-seven dollars. It's thirty-three carats. And size wise, it's about three quarters of an inch. And it's got really good flash in a couple different areas. What's up with this, like, request to be in your live video? Why do people do that? It's kind of weird. Like, am I supposed to click the button and then, like, talk to you or something? It's, why do people do that? I, I don't know. Uh, it's just, it's such a strange feature. Sounds like, why? I, I, no, I just don't understand. Like, random people do that. They're like, let me be in your video. It's like, why? So you can sell me your stones? Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, there was an Indonesian guy that just wanted to join. He might have No, it doesn't make sense to me either. Cool. So that's the new mic. This is the Peter site. This stuff is ridiculous. It's super good. It's all hand selected. And we did show this at the beginning of the show. If you missed it, I'm sorry. Happy to show it again. I'm also getting tired. And I think I'm gonna wrap it up. So, if you wanna see anything, last chance. Peter site, Opal Rough. This is Super 7 Jewelry and uh, star rutilated quartz pirate and quartz some mushrooms new mite sujolite prophecy stones agnimani Fluorite Towers. All right, for the six people that are still here, I'm gonna sign off. So, if you wanna see something else, let me know. Otherwise, we're gonna call it quits for this show and we will be back with new rocks, uh, I believe next Tuesday. I'm gonna skip the weekend because of the holiday. Got family coming in tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday night. I kind of doubt you guys are gonna be online buying rocks. Everybody be watching fireworks and all that junk, uh, eating American apple pie. So have a great weekend and enjoy your holiday. 
And thank, you, thank you for being here. My wife says thank you as well. Thank you for all of your claims. Mm -hmm. For anyone that's still here that purchased anything from us, we will be uh, sending you a DM tomorrow with your with details about how to place your order. Um, the real rock. The real rock dealer. You're not allowed to disappear on me. <laughs> uh, so make sure you check your messages. If you want to send me an email, that's fine too. We will be sending. Nice. Thanks, my friend. We will send you an updated uh, invoice with your new stone or stones. I think you bought a couple. And we will see you guys next Tuesday. Thanks for joining in. Don't forget to tell your friends. And have a good night.